Hello, in this video we're going to do a supply and demand problem. We're going to solve for the equilibrium price and quantity. And then at equilibrium we're going to find the price elasticity of demand and cross price elasticity of demand. So we're going to look at the demand for premium golf balls, which is given by the following equation. The supply of premium golf balls is given by the following. Q is the quantity of golf balls measured in dozens. P is the price per dozen golf balls. And G is the price of playing a round of golf. We're going to let G, the price of playing golf, equal $20. We're going to solve for the market equilibrium. So the first thing I do is I take the demand for golf balls and I plug in $20 for G. And then we're going to simplify that. So here's our demand for golf balls when the price of playing golf is $20. Now we're going to get our equilibrium where the quantity demanded of golf balls equals the quantity supplied. So setting the demand equation and supply equation equal and solving for P. We're going to get 360 equals 12P, dividing through by 12. The equilibrium price is $30. And the equilibrium quantity, we're going to take this $30 and plug it back either into the demand or supply equation. And when we do that, we get an equilibrium quantity of 40. Moving on to the elasticity part, what is the price elasticity of demand? So here's our formula. Uh, we're going to take the derivative of the demand equation, this right here. And then we're going to multiply it by the equilibrium price divided by the equilibrium quantity. So here's our demand equation. Taking the derivative of that, we get back minus 10. The equilibrium price we, sa we said is $30. Equilibrium quantity is 40. And so we get an answer of minus 7.5. Pretty elastic demand in this example. Here, a 1% increase in the price of golf balls reduces quantity demanded by 7.5%. All right, and then let's calculate the cross price elasticity of demand between golf balls and golf. So here's our formula. We are going to take the derivative of the demand equation with respect to G, the price of playing golf, and then multiply it by the ratio of the price of golf to the equilibrium quantity of golf balls. So here is our demand equation. And taking the derivative of that, so technically it should be a partial derivative, but no big deal. So we get back minus 20, the, the parameter in front of the G variable. The price of playing golf is $20. So this G here, the price of playing golf is $20. That's what we stated at the beginning of the problem. And finally, we found that the equilibrium quantity was 40. So we have a cross price elasticity of demand that is negative minus 10. And that indicates we're dealing with complements as the price of playing, sorry, price of playing golf increases. The quantity demanded of golf balls decreases. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.